Thank you, John and uh, Media Post for having us. Um, it's great to see all of you, some familiar faces in here. As John said, my name is Jackson Davis. I'm the Senior National Sales Director at Adaptive Intelligence. And as I was putting this presentation together, I was doing my best to put myself in the perspective of agency and brand folks like yourselves. Now, if I was an agency executive, what would be going through my mind if I had to sit through another vendor pitch, right? I'd be thinking, well, Jackson, what makes you different from the other 250 vendors that emailed me last week? And I know that's probably not a gross exaggeration for some of you in this room. So let's start there. Um, the reason that over 500 of the largest advertising agencies and brands currently work with Adaptive is our ability to connect offline factual data to online digital identifiers like IP address, latitude and longitude, company domain, et cetera to each and every business and household within our database. And this is across not only North America, but a bunch of other countries as well. Now, as we look into this, what we would do is we would take this validated offline data and we would leverage it for targeting your campaigns without the use of cookies. So when I say validated offline data, some of the examples that we're leveraging on the B2B side, we're, we're actually leveraging over 30,000 different offline data sources. And some of those examples are things like business registration data, economic census data, professional and occupational licenses, SEC filings, public directories, et cetera. On the consumer side, we're actually leveraging over 1,200 different offline data sources. And some of those sources include things like census data, county record data, uh, you have your property deeds, building permits, loyalty card purchases, magazine subscriptions at these households. And if you could take one thing from the data that Adaptive is leveraging over here, it's really that it was never originally intended for advertising purposes. It was more so for the government to be able to keep track of businesses and individuals. Now, over a decade ago now, our company was founded on the premise that utilizing this validated factual offline data was a far better way to target your programmatic campaigns for reasons like transparency, scalability, and accuracy. So as we dive into accuracy, really at the core of it, cookies are just a machine trying to figure out who you are based off of your browsing history and um, browsing preferences, right? And in so many cases, sadly, that machine is going to guess wrong. And guess what? You're going to end up in a targetable third-party segment that does not make sense for you to be in, sometimes by a long shot. I think that each and every one of us in this room can appreciate the limitations of cookies when it comes to accuracy. So there's a couple of tools that are available in today's day that will actually show you what targetable segments that you're placed into based off of your browsing history. So what you're looking at here are just a couple of screenshots from the Oracle Marketing Cloud and my device and the segments that I was placed into. Now, I guess you could say like, what is it that Jackson is searching? Um, because I'm certainly not a female, 55 to 74. Even when they do get my gender correctly, the age is off. All of these industries within the center of your screen here, I have nothing to do with, nor have I ever. So how I ended up in these segments is a, a big question mark to me as well. They even go as far to position me as a doctor, a surgeon, a nurse, a pharmacist, right? And I can promise you, if you're targeting a doctor in the state of Texas, I will be in your targeting segments. And I do not have the credentials by any means. It's almost offensive that I'm put into some of these, um, you know, to the people that did years of schooling to be on those, right? Um, so really, really just shows you some of the inaccuracies in, in that side of things. Now, what you're looking at here is actually uh, one particular account and, and every account and household that we have in our database, this is the type of data that we're leveraging for the targeting side of things. This is obviously a B2B example. Uh, the consumer would, would consist of the demographics at those households, but there is no guesswork in Adaptive's ability to target, right, because of this data that we're leveraging here. <clears throat> now, this brings us to our real second benefit, is the scalability side of things. So everyone in here, I'm sure you've probably seen the recent Google news that we are keeping cookies. Some of you may be surprised by it. Personally, I was not. Um, but there's still a lot of reasons to think outside of cookies, right? Um, so there's a lot of platforms that exist in today's day, right? There's 
there's Safari, there's Firefox, there's Edge, there's CTV, there's mobile in-app. All of these areas, you're going to really struggle if you're relying on cookies to, to target in those scenarios. Not to mention, in today's day, there's a lot of devices where you can toggle cookies on and off. And lastly, you know, when Google made this announcement years ago about their transition away from cookies, the deprecation of cookies, they had started a tidal wave of opt-out features, right? I'm sure everyone here has seen a, a multitude of them. And people are going to continue to opt out, and there's very little that we can do about it. Um, so scale is just going to become a, a much more diminishing return here, especially with like the niche audiences. So adaptive can almost thrive in these scenarios. And when I say niche audiences, for example, on the B2B side, it would be something like specific oncologists that you're trying to target, or you know, maybe a specific type of general contractor, or a specific agricultural title. Um, you know, and then on the consumer side, it would be as simple as your top 1% of household income earners, right? These are all areas that are very difficult to one scale and two accurately target. But Adaptive's cookieless technology is going to be able to help you scale these very niche audiences. There are many new um, and some very great cookieless platforms that have popped up over the years. Uh, you do have to be cognizant of you might be running into some scaling issues because if you look at a lot of these cookieless solutions at the core, they're just still another live ramp integration. I think it's important to note, as I mentioned to you guys earlier, Adaptive was founded over a decade ago, and we've been cookieless ever since. And it wasn't because we saw the privacy laws and regulations coming down the pipeline. It was really because we saw the inaccuracies of the targeting. We saw some immense issues with the scalability and also the lack of transparency. So that brings us to our third benefit, transparency. And there's a lot of programmatic black box solutions out there that can definitely make you question yourself, is this platform really doing what they say they're doing? And that's a fair question to ask. Now, Adaptive really does its best to try to offer a level of transparency throughout the whole entire process. So in the beginning, you have your RFP stage, maybe a new business pitch for some of you all in here. And this right here, what you're looking at, is an audience composition report from Adaptive's platform. So we're able to break down the intricacies of your audience, how many exact businesses, households, and or individuals that meet your audience. And what this allows us to do is give you a very accurate idea of what kind of budget you need to adequately target this audience and what kind of strategies that we need to execute on. And this report is completely customizable, so if you see a specific NAICS code or industry code that doesn't meet your audience criteria, no problem, we can exclude that from targeting. We're not wasting any impressions on audience that doesn't make sense for you and your campaign. Once that audience is accepted and the campaign begins, this is an example of, of the analytics that we're able to offer. So we call these actionable analytics. What you're looking at here is a consumer variation of that report. So you can see we can break down the performance by each individual demographic segment there. Um, and if we can show you impressions, clicks, if, the, if you're able to place that engagement and conversion pixels, we can show you that by these demographic segments as well. And really what the benefit of this report is to, is to show you and your clients exactly where your ad dollars are being spent and exactly where those ad dollars are being successful. On the business side of things, very similar to what you just saw, you can see we can break out impressions, engagements, clicks, conversions by each individual firmographic segment. All the way down to you see at the bottom of your screen, each individual business that we target in your campaign. And we utilize these reports for a number of things. Um, one is unique optimizations. So Adaptive has the ability to take a look at individual segments, maybe it's at the industry or company size or individual business, or same thing on the demographic side. And we can exclude those particular categories if they are not meeting or exceeding your KPIs for that campaign and allocate that spend to where we are seeing the success, maximizing the performance of your campaigns. <clears throat> uh, another w v thing that we can do with this report is actually for secondary campaigns, right? So we can take a look at what part of your audience was most engaging in your initial campaign, and we can then apply that to our secondary efforts here. Really just hit the ground running, if you will. Offline attribution. So everyone knows here, uh, obviously attribution in our space is becoming more and more difficult to track, right? 
The great thing about Adaptive is we can compare your client's conversion data with those analytics that we just reviewed, and we can really just paint a, an overall picture of the success in much more depth of the Adaptive campaign specifically. I do think it's important to note um, we can activate these audiences in multiple different ways. Uh, we do offer a managed service. It's probably our more popular um, service. We try to give you the white glove approach. Or if your agency or brand is set up to only operate on uh, self-service platforms, we can accommodate that for you as well. So whether you are building your audience from scratch, leveraging those adaptive you know, industry codes or you know, offline data, if you will, or if you're onboarding your client's first party data, love first party data, um, we can guarantee the accuracy in the targeting. We can guarantee the scalability regardless of the device or maybe the browser that your audience might be using and offer a level of transparency through those actual analytics that we just reviewed. In summary, we're not going to go back to a time where cookies are the answer to everything. Despite what Google announcement says, there's still a ton of benefits to explore cookie-less options similar to adaptive or others, right? And what this will do, if you're using this in tandem with your other strategies and your walled gardens like search and social, it's just going to maximize your campaign's potential. So thank you all very much for your time. Um, I hope that you all enjoy beautiful Austin, Texas, one of my favorite places. Thank you.